so these tips helped me improve my performance when it came to the pull-ups um so let's just say right now for you you can do um 50 pull-ups in your training session now that is beautiful that's a great number i've got some questions for you how do you get to that 50 how do you get to it do you know what type of pull-ups do you perform so are you pronated grip thumbs over pronated grip thumbs under neutral grip supinated grip i want to understand how you get to that number that 50 um how do you break it down into reps what is your set do you get up to the pull-up bar and do 50 pull-ups in a row or do you break that 50 pull-ups down into reps and sets so by understanding your performance and your data analytics you can then amplify that by using math so right now for example for me a typical daily regimen is say 500 pull-ups but that's broken down so i go really small to go big so my rep range i cap it at five reps max per set so this is what it looks like for me um five pull-ups equals one set 20 sets will take me to one block one block equals 100 pull-ups and then i will repeat that five times and there's my 500 pull-ups okay um, I've got a video on this, so you can check this out. Reps, sets, blocks, and milestones. How to measure and manage your performance. And you can use this process. It doesn't have to be just for pull-ups. You can apply this to push-ups or dips, something like that, for example. Um, the barrier that I came across is when I wasn't measuring and managing the right activity. So um, I'm going to ask you some questions do you measure your time in between sets your rest time so you get up to that bar you perform your pull-ups and you come down do you measure the time before you get back up on that bar this was an absolute game changer for me because it kept me focused it kept me in a very strict discipline routine so if i was to do 50 pull-ups for example like yourself this is how i would do it I'd do five reps max and I would do 10 sets. So 10 sets of five reps max and I would rest 30 seconds in between those sets. So do my five pull-ups. I know that it takes me two and a half seconds to complete one pull-up, 12 and a half seconds to complete my five pull-ups. Then I'd rest for 30 seconds and then I'd go again. That's how I'd break it down.